last video we had seen that how the time division multiplexing signal looks like we have also checked that to send or to have a hundred percent communication between transmitter and receiver between multiplexer and demultiplexer there is an importance of three signal the data which is nothing but the input signals from different channels then we had learned the importance of clock that is nothing but at the speed at which multiplexer and demultiplexer works and both should be synchronized so that is the importance of synchronization signal we have used four different channels so we have seen that the sync signals frequency is divided by four of the clock frequency or we can say that the clock frequency is four times multiplication multiple of the sync frequency now the first video we have also understood that it is practically difficult to lay down or to send data clock and sync through three different separate communication cables to receiver so what we can do we can reduce one of the signal and establish a 100% communication between transmitter and receiver by two links so we learned that we will send the synchronization signal we will send the data and at receiver we will add the PLL and we will multiply the sync by that PLL by 4 so that we will derive the clock so let's do that experiment so first is the first job is to connect four different signals to the four different channels of multiplexer so again we are connecting this signal the 500 kilohertz a 500 hertz sorry 500 hertz 1 kilohertz then we are connecting 2 kilohertz then we need to connect 4 kilohertz so now let's connect the 4 kilohertz so these are the four channels signals we connected to the four channels of our multiplexer now we need to connect the data between transmitter and receiver between multiplexer and receiver so we are just connecting the transmitter and receiver and we are sending the data through this cable to this connection second we learn that we will send a sync signal from transmitter to receiver so let's connect this sync signal to this receiver but we also learn that we will have to derive the clock from this sync and how we are going to derive it we are going to use this PLL loop and we will multiply the frequency of sync by 4 4 times and we will derive the clock so I am connecting this synchronization pulse over here now this block I am deriving the clock by using this PLL and it is multiplying it by 4 I am connecting to the clock of the, uh, at receiver end and then the same time I will be connecting the sync which we connected from transmitter to receiver to this sync clock so this is how there is now only two connections the two wires are connected and we are sending the sync we are sending the data but we can see that now receiver has become complex compared to the first experiment and now we are having a PLA is being connected put into the uh, loop which is multiplying the sync frequency by 4 and we are deriving the clock from sync pulse now let's see these are the four different channel signals the channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 which is nothing but a 500 hertz 1 kilohertz 2 kilohertz and the 4 kilohertz signal this is a multiplexed signal so this has been multiplexed by this sampling sampler switch so this is my multiplexed signal i can check if i check the if i check say for example if i change these channel 1 samples the only those samples are going down so this is how we are having the we can see that this is the channel and if I change the channel 1 channel 1 samples only those are going down 
So this is my multiplex signal. This multiplex signal is coming here. The same data we are sending to the receiver. So same data is going. This is my sync pulse. This is my sync pulse, which we are sending to the receiver. Here from sync, we are multiplying that sync signal by four. So this is sync, and if I multiply it by four, I get this frequency. So that is the clock. The clock we are giving to our receiver block, sync we are giving. So we are getting the demultiplex samples at this point. So this is my channel one samples. Demultiplex samples of channel one, demultiplexed samples of channel two, demultiplex samples of channel three, demultiplex samples of channel four. We all know that if we filter this multiple uh, this multi uh, sample signal through a low pass filter we will remove remove the high frequency samples and we will derive the original baseband signal so this is our filters we are getting the channel 1 at the output so this is our channel 1 at the output which is same as what we are having only the um, attenuation is there so amplitude is less this is channel 2 this is channel 3 and this is channel 4 so this way we have learned that how we can establish a communication between multiplexer and demultiplexer which is working on the principle of time division multiplexing and we are sending from transmitter to receiver only two signals the data and sync and at receiver we are we have used pll as a block which is multiplying the sync frequency by a factor of 4 and we are deriving the clock so this is how we learn into experiment number 2 now let's go to the next experiment in the next video